Have you ever wanted to play God with life? Well, now you can. Uh, so over here at Species, you basically start with a sad little slug thing with no limbs and a very little will to live. And then as time goes on, you repeatedly expose it to high levels of radiation and basically use its genes as Play-Doh as you shove your hand in and start to get it with more limbs and horns and teeth and eyes or maybe a lack of eyes, I'm not really sure. And then it, basically things become freakish, more and more freakish as time goes on and they eventually slay each other because some of them take on murderous tendencies while others decide to just be herbivores. All right, so this is Species, Artificial Life Real Evolution. I got a key for it early. It's gonna be coming out on uh, early access over on Steam. I'll have links in the description. So this is a complete evolution simulator where you get to basically make everything. You can make a new world and there is pretty much everything you could possibly want here. So you can start with a blank slate creature or you can start with something real. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Uh, I kind of want to start with something random. What else is there? Oh, initialize predator and prey? Oh, God. Uh, yeah, let's try that first. We'll start with 250 creatures because that's what it decided. You can have whatever seed you want here. We're going to do um, good old 8675309. I usually enjoy that. So you can see the map completely changes like as you as you do stuff so we'll we'll choose that one what kind of world do we want lake ocean oasis crater i the way it works is i think all the animals will figure a way to live even if you put them in like a weird world we're gonna do um let's do a, a crater plateau yeah whatever let's do a crater let's see what happens reproduction asexual parthenogenic Sexual. Oh, God. Oh, capable of bearing young with or without mating. I guess that's good considering how much death is probably gonna happen. I'm gonna just click on some things here just to see what they do. Fertility sensitivity? Mother of God. Okay, let's see if we can not cause complete genocide like almost immediately between our predators and prey. Let's see what we get. All right. So here's the world. You can kind of like maneuver in and out and go all over the place. There's a bunch of different like ways that you can view things. And these are our sad little creatures that we have over here. Uh, let's uh, let's go down. Uh, holy crap. What the hell is this? Oh, first person view. That's what I'm talking about. So these are our sad little creatures over here. You can see they really don't have much besides like a sad body and sort of a mouth. They're going to be starving to death because they need to understand what it takes to survive which they don't have that knowledge yet. They're not smart enough. So it looks like the red ones are the predators and the green ones are the the prey. But what you can do is you can take a few of them. We're, we'll go ahead and grab these ones over here. Go ahead and pause real quick. And you bring them over to the facility of sadness. All right, so now once inside the facility, you can go to genetic engineering and we can start turning our herbivore into something slightly more impressive. So let's start messing around over here. Skin type. <laughs> oh my god. Um, what the hell? Camouflage? Oh, he's like a bark skin creature there. Like kind of like a woolly mammoth. Now he's like a lizard with scales. Yeah, let's let's do this one. I, I don't, this is fine. Change the color a little bit here. We got like some oranges. Let's go with that. It's kind of like a gray snake thing. Metabolic heat production. Uh, I'm just going to leave that as it is. So we can give a torso. His torso is kind of sad right now. What does the chest height actually do? Oh, okay. Uh, now he's really derpy. So let me just kind of, we'll make him barrel chested or something. Yes. Look at those pecs. Give old boy some hips as well. There we go. Digestive system. Is his digestive system crap because we're messing with the with the hip? No, everything's fine. I don't I don't know. Like, let's let's bring his digestive system upward, maybe better. I, I maybe he eats too. I don't know if this means he eats too fast or he eats slow or what. Limb type. Limb length. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what kind of limbs are there? Oh good lord. You can make like a spider creature. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Yeah, let's, uh, how many, there's 14, 15. Okay, I'm still working here, but this is, this, this is something straight out of Call of Cthulhu. That's, that's what we're doing at this point. I've got, I don't even know what this is. It is a six-legged spider dragon mouth. I'm dealing with the tail right now. So, yeah. If you want to look at this thing, this is what it looks like. Let's generate it. It's called Kapuba. 
a Bonnie, sure. Now, while our first creature is kind of doing his thing, there's some other stuff that you can do. Let's find like a, a nice pack of, here we go. What you can do, if you wish, is you can grab your species here and you can irradiate the crap out of them. Like, multiple, multiple times. Now, what irradiation does is it allows their offspring to have several genetic mutations when they eventually spring up. Right now, they're all still dying because they're trying to figure out what it takes to be left alive. Oh, we got a vicious fight going on between a, a satapod and whatever this is. Is this our boy? Is this the thing? Premium? Yeah, this is different than this one. I don't know what changed between these two, but they're a little bit different. This one just freaking owned the other one. I don't, I, he just, I don't know what happened or what. But I think if we speed time along here, we may start seeing some mutations in these guys too, because now we have our extra genetic splicing that we've done in the middle here. Now you can splice as well. If we want, we can take this dude over here and we can splice it with our, this, this thing. Okay, I've sped up time a little bit. Now, instead of just being sad slugs, they're starting to produce their back rear legs over here. You can see they still kind of have to slither around because their legs are pathetic uh, and their bodies are like grotesquely obese, but we're starting to get somewhere. Over here in Radtown, where we irradiated the crap out of these creatures, we got some different, like, like patterns over here, I'm noticing. If you go over here, you can actually see what kind of different species there are. So we have that. <laughs> what is this? Oh, God. So we finally, what, I don't even know what this is. I'm, I'm very curious what sort of freakish puffball creature has managed to evolve itself in this climate right now. Man, this predator prey system, they are going at one another. We're starting to get more legs finally. Let's uh, let's take a couple of these guys and introduce them into the wild. You can do that if you want. You can, uh, you can grab a couple of poor, hold on, we can resurrect everyone too. We'll grab a couple of poor schmucks. Uh, we'll feed them and then we'll move them. Look at how everyone is like huddled in this area. They're starting to they're starting to manifest like like shaggy coats and stuff like that. I don't know what the deal is. Uh, let's put these ones over here. There's no one on this side. Let's throw these guys over here and see how they do. All right. Clearly, they're already beating the ever living crap out of one another, as I had anticipated. Got some waggy little tails around here. Kind of looks like a like a salami, just kind of flipping back and forth. How many limbs does this thing have? Oh God, it it's hideous. We're gonna have to do some more genetic engineering over here. Facial features, what does it all mean? Uh, I want more. Let's give it like a, oh, he's got like little antenna on his head. That's what it is. Bring that motivation way up too. I want these guys to be more motivated to do stuff. Bigger, I want them big. I want them like the Triceratops of the world. Going over here to Radtown, I'm gonna splice some jeans. We're gonna splice some genes into these guys over here with our brand new, where is it? This thing. Yeah, whatever that is. There we go. Genetics have just been manipulated. Now we can probably move things along if we want to. As a matter of fact, these guys over here, I'm gonna radiate these guys even more just to see what sort of uh, other strange things we can have happen. So we're down here in it. We've got bioluminance going on over here. Luminescence and there have you. Everyone else still kind of beating up trees. Let's move, uh, let's move time along here. Oh, oh, there it is. We've had our first baby, whatever this is over here. Hold on, we gotta get down low to take a look at this. Oh yes, look at this monstrosity. Look at we have created. It's kind of like a, uh, like an antelope or something basically. I, I don't really, maybe just like a cow. I think it's an herbivore. We can look at this diagram over here. It kind of shows where things, where it could have gone and where it went to. So you can see there's a bunch of other like little lines, different directions that its its genomes could have went to, to over here. Let's zoom out further just to kind of see all the rest. Major species, oh God. It would be like a rhino with a really, really tiny head. Oh, look at him grow. Oh, it's getting even more powerful than all the other ones. So we have to splice those other genes in there too. Cause if you remember, we have the, um, whatever that was, it's, it's kind of like a spider thing. Let me see if I can find some guys to splice that into. All right, right over here, these guys, you're, they're not doing enough for me. They're looking pretty pathetic. So let me uh, let me heal you guys. And now let's splice the genes in for this thing. Yes. Oh, it is a friggin' murder fest over here. Hold on. We got a couple of different species that have begun to congregate in this little area. Look at the 
freakish heads. We got our, uh, we got our, our small legged bison elopes over there. One just got eaten by another one. I'm pretty sure that the lizard creatures have begun to, uh, to expand as well. Let me see if I can find some of those. Oh, they're migrating. They're migrating to, to greener pastures over here. Look, it's like a herd. It actually is. We made like a herd of freakish mutant green buffaloes. Oh, this thing's a scavenger. Oh, it just got freaking obliterated. But we've got like, like panthers starting to formulate over here. If, if you want to call this that, it just got, it just got wrecked. But yeah, right over here, look at them go. They hunt in packs. Whatever this is, I'm going to send this into the wild. All right, let's grab our, let's grab our panthers or I don't know, whatever this is. I'm just going to drop them down over here for right now and see if they can figure out a way to survive. There they are, hanging out. I'm going to give them some food real quick just so that they're, they're prepared to go and hunt and stuff like that. There's one right over here. The spaded tailed panther lope stalks its tree-like prey. Actually, I don't know what this thing is considered. Oh, it's an herbivore. It's warty. It's warm-blooded. It has a pathetic health capacity. It's got a small stomach. Oh, a decent walk speed. It's very exhausted. It's pretty fast. It's adorable damage, really. Oh, you can see its genetic code? What? That's crazy. So we've got nine species right now. Whatever that is, that thing, this over here, one of these, that creature, that's our sort of panther. And then we've got like a warty potato headed wildebeest. Look at this, we've got like a turtle now. It's like, it's kind of like a turtle creature. We could go through our, our species over here and just kind of see, there's our, there, that was our freakish turtle. I don't really know what to say about that. It only shows the species like in the immediate area over here. I don't know what this thing is, but I'm gonna make it gigantic. All right, I've made a new creature. Let's splice some genes. We'll splice it into these guys over here, like maybe this grouping right around here. All right, we got a bunch of mutations going on over here. Hold on, let's uh, let's get down low and find out exactly. Oh my God, the species are blowing up. We got 11 species now. Oh yes, yes. Oh, oh glories. Ooh, this is oh no. What is this thing? Oh, this is just like a, it's just like a hair, it's just like a shaggy potato. That was all that one thing was. Oh! Oh, we've got new creatures. Oh, they're blasting each other. It's some sort of, oh, they just went into Mortal Kombat and the, the spider being completely obliterated. I don't know what the other thing was, but whatever it was, it just got freaking wrecked. Let's take a look at what we got species-wise now. They've been, they've been uh, genetically going for a while. Look at the feet on this thing. So this is what we have. I don't even know what the hell this is. Looks like, <laughs> there we go. That's the sweetness. Oh, look at the giant herd of herbivores. Oh, look at this thing. Yes, we're starting to get some cool stuff now. Oh yeah. Now supposedly you can like do a bunch of, I don't even know what half of this is. It's, it's like rovers and you can get them to do stuff. Yeah, feed the trees with high energy, sure. You can drive these too. Okay, I guess I just broke the game. I evolved so much that I finally destroyed the entire world. It's mass extinction. Okay, so that was species. Uh, we got to evolve a lot of different things, including a hairy potato and a spider-limbed weirdalope. Uh, there's probably a lot of other stuff that we could do if we could get it to go even further down the evolutionary trees. I don't know, what do you guys think of it? Feel free to let me know in the comment section below. If you wanna make the YouTube machine happy, go ahead and evolve the old like button. Until next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.